Okay, so I'm going to show you how to take an exported CSV roster report from Power Teacher and convert it for importing into GradeCam. These are made up student names and student numbers, but this is the format that the file comes out in. The first thing I want to do is delete the first two rows. So I'm going to click on the first row and I'm going to drag down to the second row so that they're highlighted. I'm going to come up to the edit menu and click delete. Now what I need to do is split this column of last name comma first name into two columns. So the first thing I'm going to do is select the B row of the B column and I am going to insert a new column. Then I'm going to select column A, come to the data menu and select text to columns. And using the column wizard here, I'm going to click next, it's set on delimited, click next. And I want this to be comma delimited because there's a comma separating the last name and the first name. I'm going to click finish. And now I have a column of last name, column of first name, column of the full student ID number. I'm going to save a version of this just out to my desktop. And this is what I'm going to use later on for grade transfer. And it is CSV uh, format. You'll get a message that says some of the features are not available. Just click continue. Now I'm going to continue editing this file and I'm going to save it again in a different um, format in just a minute. Same format, different order. Alright, so what I want to do to protect the social security numbers of our students, we only want to upload the last four digits. So we're going to use a formula. Uh, if the formula bar is not visible, then what you can do is come up to the view menu and say, uh, so click on formula bar. Alright, so I've clicked in uh, column D, the first cell. Then I'm going to click in my formula bar and I'm going to type an equal. Then the word write, open parentheses. And I'm going to click on the cell that's right before that. So this is C1. Then I'm going to type a comma and a four. And I'm going to close the parentheses. And then I'm going to hit return. And what that formula did is it took this number that's in C1 and it went to the right and it took the last four digits and it has put that in column D. If I needed to edit that formula, I can click on that and then come back up to the formula bar and I can edit that. But I don't need to because it came out right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put my cursor over the bottom right corner of D1 and I'm going to click and hold and I'm going to drag it down to the last name and I'm going to let go and it has now applied that formula to each one of those cells. Now the concern, the issue here is that it, I can't just leave that as it is. Um, what I need to do is have that not related to the column that's in front of it. Because right now if I come in here and I delete this column this is what it's going to look like because it's trying to find that original number to get the last four digits of. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this information. You could use the keyboard shortcut if you wanted to. And then I'm going to go over to the next column and I'm going to paste it. But instead of just pasting, I'm going to paste special. And what I'm going to choose to paste is the value of that um, of that function of that equation. So now what I can do is actually delete columns C and D and now I have last name, first name, and just the last four digits. I want to save a version of that and this one is going to be for classes. So this is for my um, import into my classes. Still CSV format, and then I'm going to save. And again, when prompted, click continue. 
and now you're done.